Well, a stop at Florida International University and a Meet the Candidates forum in, uh, in Miami. Mitt Romney was also on the road. To Consumer story you'll only see on NBC2. Then it's considered an overbilling, and um, we're entitled to a refund on those um, billing charges. And that's not only the investigators uncover illegal fees tacked on to utility bills, how to make sure you're not paying more than you should. Plus, coming up after weather. Uh, I think it's... A consumer alert tonight after hundreds of people at Fort Myers are illegally overcharged on their utility bills. NBC2 investigator Andy Perotti explains how to check to see if this is happening to you. Nicholas Saka now watches every drip. Especially in this economy. And every dot. Approval, like approval for our main. After he found a $3 fee tacked onto his water and sewer bill that he paid every month for a year. The reaction was um, of shock. In the apartment complex where he lived was the one adding the fee and when he notified the city he learned it was illegal we don't allow that and we told him you have to stop it a city ordinance only allows properties to charge for the exact amount of water residents use the uh, reading on here no extra fees are allowed whatever we build they have to build the same thing to the customers that's why code the city issued this cease and desist order the Brittany stopped charging you multiply that times 100. But Sock and his neighbors believe they should be reimbursed. Well, I want to make sure that I'm paying for what I use. For every for month they were overcharged. Someone um, does something wrong, you need to get it corrected. They should reimburse the money that uh, doesn't belong to them. I'm trying to get a hold of someone with Encor Residential. We called and stopped by Encor. Can anyone talk to us about the cease and desist order? the no. property management company that runs the Brittany for two days. Are you guys aware of a request for a refund by residents of the Brittany apartment? No. They didn't want to talk and no one called us back. Since he can't get an answer either, Sokka's deducting the total amount of his fee from his current water bill, saying it may be the only way he gets his money back. If it's considered an Ill illegal fee, then it's considered an overbilling, and um, we're entitled to a refund on those um, billing charges. If you haven't done it in a while, take a look at your water and sewer bill. Many property management companies implement new fees or charges the first of the year. If you notice that your bill has increased, but you don't see that extra fee, ask for a complete breakdown of the cost. Or have your meter checked for broken equipment. Finally, if you suspect that you're getting overcharged, contact your local utility company. Andy Parati, NBC2.